And a good day, all of you. John Henderson Pierre of the Beverage Ramble back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today from Arches Brewing Company, Mexican Empire. This is a Vienna lager style, 5.2% ABV. Gets a 3.65 out of 5 score on, on tap and an 87 score on Beer Advocate. So. I picked this up the other day at uh, Cost Plus World Market. It was $1.99 for the can. Hey, so. Anywho, that's what the beer looks like. Looks like your more traditional Vienna lager. Says this beer is rich, nutty malt flavored, and a little bit of a bite towards the end. So we shall see. Hmm. Um, it definitely has a nice copper look to it. Um, I'm trying to think of the last what, more well-known Vienna lager. So I'm thinking mm, Victoria from Grupo Modelo. Would that be considered a Victorian lager, a Vienna lager, possibly? So, but that has a lower ABV to it as well. So, and the one I just did, the Trader Jose dark lager, that was more Vienna style. So, definitely that rich malt, nutty malt flavor of smell I'm getting right now. So, very little head, very little fizz, but definitely I like the color on it. It's been a cloudy, rainy day here. The, the sun's trying to peek out, but I knew I was going to try to go walk this afternoon, but I said, let me skip that. No telling, you know, walking and drenching the water. But anyway, how about it? little hop aroma, but also I'm getting a, fit of a little lemony, a little bite, a little lemony flavor to this one. Kind of interesting, kind of weird in a way, but... Hmm. Hmm. Unique, unique. There's a little bitterness to this. Very much so. top over here doing another update so yeah, it's a little lemony a little bite this is kind of very odd very odd beer to hmm, very odd beer to, to see and consume and try well it said it's kind of more in the style of how these beers are made in mexico so and trying to think of a lager that it was a Vienna lager. The only one that comes to mind that I know of that was with it. I mentioned Victoria, but I think there was another one I had. Uh, boy. Um, not the Dos Equis Ambar, which is really good. The Dos Equis Ambar, really nice. But, um. I don't think it was, was it just like a sub bar? It might have been that one. Something walking by. A little gnat. I had to <clears throat> throw that gnat. Um, might have been when I had down in Mexico. So, so many different styles. Um, but it kind of reminded me a little bit of the Victoria from Grupo Modelo, the same style. Um, but anyway, uh, the brewery, Arches Brewery, is based in Hatville, Georgia. So one of, I'm, look, I'm looking at some of their stuff now. They have a pretty good amount of things that are there. They have a stout. They have a, a adjunct lager. Uh, they have a, a light body lager. So they have some pretty good things on their website. And um, one thing I do know, um, since I've been up here now, Georgia has some really good stuff, um, thankfully. And again, I'm not dissing Alabama, believe me. There was some good stuff in Alabama, but it was kind of very hard to get in reach of some of those things, you know. Even my hookup store I would go to in Mobile, that was, they had a, a good amount of array, array of stuff. But 
those things were very hard to find. So you had to go to like a specialty store, you know, whether it be, you know, well, there were not that many specialty stores. There was one, but they closed that one down. But um, mostly it was all selling wine. But if I went to Rouse's, if I both, you know, I lived in Mobile, the one in Sarah Land, or the one across the river, across the bay, and Spanish Fort, you know, there were good things there. But I really would have to go maybe... Whole Foods had some things that I was able to get in singles, but those were very rare to find. So I really had to go like all out throughout Baldwin County. The Greer's Cache may had a few little things, but and that was like a, a crapshoot. Um, again, certain parts of town of Mobile, if I had it here, yes, it was great. But if I had it there, I was even in better shape. If I had this part of, of Mobile, absolutely out of the question. I couldn't find nothing, so... So, yeah, um, yeah, so as, as I mentioned, this stuff from Gate City, um, things I've had from, uh, let's see, what's the other one? I'm not calling Sweetwater, yes, even though it's based here, but that's more of a national brand than anything. Anybody can get Sweetwater. Um, but, um, uh, Pontoon, um, there's the, um, Mountaintop Lager. I just did that one recently. That's also brewed that's brewed here in Georgia. Lloyd's Light Lager. So there have been a lot of good things I've been able to find here in this state, and I've been very fortunate. And um, so it has a nice nuttiness, a nice flavor. Back to this beer. A nice flavor, a nice malty. So again, a little tad sweetness, a little bitter in the end. Folks who like Vienna lagers, those are kind of the style. Um, but it's all that little lemony flavor, but I think it's kind of, it's close, but not on the same level as some of most Vienna lagers I've, I've had before. So, um, yeah, I bought this at uh, Dollar and I bought, the, yeah, Cosmos? Yeah, I bought it at, at Cosmos World Market, sorry. And with a lot of these stores and all these stores, make sure, you know, that's a national store, Cosmos World Market, you know, the Trader Joe's, whatever. Yes, you'll have some stuff from the well-known brands and well-known craft breweries, but also they make sure that they have a lot of space to put a lot of the local stuff on the shelf. So, uh, whether it be this, and as I mentioned, the other the other places I mentioned, breweries, you know, you'll see that in anywhere, um, in, in any of these big, big chain stores, Whole Foods. Rouse is a regional brand, but the Whole Foods, the, the, the Trader Joe's, the Fresh Market as well. Um, I haven't seen very little stuff from the Aldi's and Lidl in terms of local stuff. You know, I think everything had their own little relationship with their own brewery. Most of the breweries for those two stores are in Germany. So, um, in any event, this is really good. Um... Again, if you like Vienna Lagers and has a little bit of a sort of a little tang in the end, a little bite, this is for you. So I'm going to go with the same score. I'm going to go 8.7 um, for this Arches Mexican Empire. I think it's quite very delicious. A good Vienna Lager. Close to the line. Not close enough, but good enough. Excellent. Try it out. You may like it. John Anderson Pierre, The Beverage Ramble team. Keep on watching. As always, cheers. Live, laugh, and love. The Empire. Mexican Empire strikes.